this is Montessa Young, University of Idaho Extension Educator from Washington County. This presentation is on hot beds and cold frames. So I have a couple cold frames in my house and find them very useful for a time between when plants need to come from underneath the grow light in the house and aren't quite ready to survive outside on their own. So to build a cold frame, um, you usually have a taller back wall on the north side of the cold frame and a shorter front wall on the front side um, and then just soil underneath that you're able to either start your plants on or lay your plastic trays of seedlings on. Cold frames should have a southern exposure so that they receive the maximum amount of sunlight on those early spring days. To reduce the cost of heating it's helpful to have a north or northwest windbreak and a convenient water supply should be available. It really heats up in those cold frames and you'll want to keep your plants watered. So here's some examples of cold frames. The one on the left is actually at my house. Uh, we have a concrete ditch that is used for irrigation and there happens to be a very nice slope that has a southern exposure and this is where I've chose to build my cold frames. On top of those are uh, aluminum windows that have been recycled, so old aluminum windows. One thing that I, I ran into is those aluminum windows will really fly in the wind, um, so I did lose one or two, so hinges, hinges would be a good design addition. You can actually see underneath the windows a uh, white cloth, so that is frost cloth. I found that when my tomatoes touched that top window that they tended to frost um, any piece that touched the window, so the frost cloth added an extra layer of protection. An extreme example of cold frames, if you look on the right hand side, this is Louis Sevier's farm from the 1970s and all those glass panes out there, those are all the cold frames that he's using to grow crops in. You can also build a hot bed, which is a cold frame plus a heat source. Heat can be provided for these by a soil heating cable. Um, I purchased one of these several years ago and plugged it in. and and grew a very nice crop of spinach in early March. Uh, one of the challenges was keeping that wet with the additional heat. I had to be careful um, to add enough moisture in there. It can also be done with steam or hot water pipes if you have natural hot water available or are willing to use hot water from the house. And then in, in uh, older times, decomposing manure was what was used for a hot bed. Um, I actually live on a dairy farm and I've tried the decomposing manure as well. Uh, once again had trouble keeping, keeping the bed wet enough to, to keep the plants happy, but it did add quite a bit of heat. So one challenge with cold frames and hot breads is keeping them at a, a great temperature. So during extremely cold weather you can provide extra protection and conserve heat by covering the sash with mats or a layer of straw. On warm sunny days you can remove that sash, uh, maybe open it up all the way or totally remove um, the top window. Since these cold frames are solely dependent on natural heat absorbed during the day, it's important to get that sash closed promptly in the late afternoon or evening um, and once there's no danger of excess temperature buildup. So this really works best for someone that's at home um, in the mid-afternoon so that they can close that cold frame up in time. This ingenious product is, uh, came out over the last couple of years, an automatic vent opener. Requires no batteries or electricity. It works with an expanding wax cylinder, which is the long black part that you see in the picture. It can be adjusted to start opening between 60 and 77 degrees, be fully open at 86 to 90 degrees, and fully closed at 55 degrees. So if you're not home in the afternoon to close up your cold frames or your greenhouse, this might be a, a piece of the technology that would help you out. So here's a picture of a cold frame or potentially a hot bed. So you can see it's just made out of straw or hay bales and old windows put on top. Here's an adorable example of a cold frame. They used an old uh, wooden window which they've painted very nicely and in this cart so that window can come up and down depending on the temperature outside. <music>